the decoupling process of the physical silver market from the paper digital spot market that is underway appears to be now accelerating at breakneck speed. Is it time to load up on silver? If you are planning to go long with this precious metal, do not use SLV. Either use PSLV or your buy bullion. SLV is just paper silver and if the market plans to squeeze the shorts, taking delivery would do it. Neither the COMEX or SLV will be able to deliver. We saw what happened to oil last year when there was a glut, i.e. negative prices. The futures market, particularly USO, caused that problem because the paper market was much larger than the physical market. Few could take delivery, so prices dropped. With silver, it's the opposite. There is a physical shortage and the paper market is much larger than the physical. Few can make delivery, so prices rise. However, the market has to force delivery, which can be done by letting futures contract expire. But if you are playing the squeeze game, SLV might be better than PSLV. Welcome back to the Nomad Economist. Please like, share, and subscribe. Is the Reddit army on the verge of creating the most epic silver short squeeze in US history? If you're following the markets at all, you know that the price of GameStop stock skyrocketed this week. As the story goes, it was primarily driven up by retail investors on platforms such as Robinhood, and pushed by social media posts, particularly on Reddit. Now, these so-called Reddit raiders have set their eyes on silver. The GameStop phenomenon not only caught a lot of people's attention because the price skyrocketed over 400% in a matter of days. It also raised eyebrows because it cost some of the hedge fund big boys a lot of money. Melvin Capital in particular took huge losses when it had to close out its short positions on Tuesday. CNBC could not confirm exactly how much the fund lost, but reported that short sellers overall have accumulated losses of more than $5 billion year to date in GameStop stock, including a loss of $917 million on Monday and $1.6 billion on Friday. The short squeeze. As CNBC described it, the run-up on GameStop stock was encouraged by an army of retail investors who marshaled forces against short sellers in online chat rooms. The rapid rise in price created a short squeeze. In a nutshell, investors can borrow stock and then sell it, anticipating a drop in price. If the price does in fact fall, the investor can buy the stock back at a lower price, return it to its owner, and pocket the profit. But if the price rises, the investor still has to buy back the stock and return it to the original owner. In that case, the investor will take a loss. If a stock goes up sharply, it can cause a short squeeze. Traders who were short have to quickly buy the stock back in order to cut their losses. That puts even more upward pressure on the price of a stock. That's what apparently happened with GameStop. Social media and message boards incentivized a big push to buy and that forced the hands of the shorts. This explains why some of the big boys are throwing a fit because a bunch of millennials on Robinhood drove the price of GameStop up for no good reason and cost them money. Big boys don't like it when the little guy wins. This is further evidence of just how unhinged markets have become. We know the stock market, in general, is a big fat ugly bubble thanks to the Fed. And we've seen how the markets have decoupled from economic and political reality. Now we have a phenomenon where an individual stock soars, again with no connection to reality. A short position on game stock made sense in a sane market. There is no good reason fundamentally to buy GameStop stock. It's a brick and mortar store selling game cartridges. Nobody does video games like this anymore. It's a dead business model, and the company is scrambling to move to an online business model think Blockbuster about 10 years ago. So, the pumped-up stock price has no connection to reality. It was purely fueled by social media speculative mania. And at some point, the stock price will most likely reflect that. A lot of these investors will be left holding the bag when this social media-induced bubble pops. Eyeballing silver. On Thursday, the Reddit raiders turned their attention to silver. A post by another own declared the biggest short squeeze in the world SLV silver $25 to $1000. In all of the years that I have made videos about precious metals, I have never seen anything like this. The corporate media is breathlessly reporting that, the Reddit army, plans to do to silver what it did to GameStop, and this has caused a frenzy of buying and a severe shortage of physical silver at dealers all across the United States. 
If things are this crazy already, what is going to happen when the short squeeze actually begins? For now, the Reddit army is still primarily focused on GameStop and other stocks that major hedge funds have been relentlessly short selling, and in recent days members of that army have actually been purchasing billboard ads to celebrate their success. The billboards show unified support for the investors who have driven up the price of GameStop, which was at $2.57 at its lowest point last year, to over $483 a share. GME Go Burr read a digital billboard in New York City, with Burr referring to the sound a money printing machine makes. The West Coast similarly joined in, with an airplane flying over Santa Monica reading, We are all GameStop Wall Street bets. I expect that GameStop and other stocks that have been specifically targeted will continue to be the primary focus for the Reddit army during this upcoming week. But there continues to be quite a bit of discussion on Wall Street Bet's Reddit group about the potential for a silver short squeeze. Silver bullion market is one of the most manipulated on earth. Any short squeeze in silver paper shorts would be epic. We know bullion banks are manipulating gold and silver to cover real inflation. Both the industrial case and monetary case, debt printing has never been more favorable for the no. 1. Inflation hedge silver. Inflation adjusted silver should be at $1,000 instead of $25. Link to post removed by mods. Why not squeeze SLV to real physical price? Think about the gains. If you don't care about the gains, think about the banks like JP Morgan you'd be destroying along the way. And even though there hasn't been much action yet, anticipation about what could be coming has pushed the price of silver up quite a bit since Thursday. Silver has risen nearly 15% since Thursday, when posts began circulating on Reddit urging retail investors to buy silver mining stocks and iShares Silver Trust, an exchange-traded fund ETF, backed by physical silver bars, in a GameStop-style squeeze. Demand has been even more intense for physical bars and coins. On Sunday, several major silver dealer websites warned of delays in processing orders. Retail sites were overwhelmed with demand for silver bars and coins on Sunday, suggesting the Reddit-inspired frenzy that roiled commodities markets last week is spilling over into physical assets. Sites from Money Metals and SD Bullion to JM Bullion and Apmex, the Walmart of precious metals products in North America, said they were unable to process orders until Asian markets open because of unprecedented demand for silver. There have been runs on physical silver before, but I don't remember ever seeing anything of this nature. Just check out what the CEO of SD Bullion just wrote. In the 24 hours preceding Friday market close, SD Bullion sold nearly 10x the number of silver ounces that we normally would sell in an entire weekend leading to Sunday market open. In a normal market, we normally can find at least one supplier source willing to sell some ounces over the weekend if we exceed our long position the number of ounces we predict we will sell over the weekend. However, everyone we talk to is afraid of a gap up at Sunday night market open. This is about ready to get really interesting as there was very little inventory left from suppliers mints going into Friday close. Our direct AP supplier informed us after close on Friday that the US mint will be on allocation for the remainder of Type 1, current Silver Eagle design. Our sales for the month of January exceeded any one month last year during the heart of the pandemic. It was an all-time record month in our company history. The higher the price of silver shoots up, the more severe the supply crunch is likely to become. Of course the truth is that manipulation by the big banks has kept the price of silver much lower than it should have been for many years. If the ratio of the price of silver to the price of gold were to simply return to historical norms, the price of silver would be well over $100 an ounce. And unlike gold, silver is a very important commercial commodity that is used in a whole host of high-tech products. This is something that James Rickards pointed out in one of his recent articles. Silver is a commodity used in many industrial processes, including water purification, tableware, solar panels, electrical contacts, X-ray film, mirrors and medical instruments. It's the best electrical conductor of any metal. It is also used in automobile emission control equipment. All of these industrial and scientific applications qualify silver as a commodity input. It is fun to invest in stocks like GameStop, but the fundamentals for such companies are not good at all. On the other hand, the long-term fundamentals for silver are exceedingly good. Whether the price of silver surges in the short term or not, in the long term it must go much higher. 
Large financial institutions have been working very hard to keep the price of silver depressed, but as Egan von Greyers has pointed out, in the end they will inevitably lose this battle. The silver market is one of the most toxic of all. Heavily manipulated and with bullion banks now being 100 million ounces of silver short on COMEX and with no liquidity in London, as Alistair MacLeod has pointed out. Still, even if not in the next week or two, silver will win this game in the medium and long term as the dosage of paper silver shorts is much too big to survive a short squeeze. I really do hope that the Reddit army commits to a silver short squeeze. But whether it really happens or not, the price of silver will keep going up. Many investors don't realize that silver actually outperformed the stock market in 2020. It was up more than 47% for the year, and the hyperinflationary policies of our leaders will make 2021 another good year. Throughout human history, precious metals have been a hedge against inflation, and today is no different. Hopefully, the Reddit army will decide to get on the bandwagon because what they have accomplished so far is absolutely breathtaking. This was the Nomad Economist. Please like. Share. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you wholeheartedly to all those of you who have already donated. And thanks for your valuable feedback. Stay safe and healthy friends.